Killers of the Flower Moon is directed by none other than Martin Scorsese. And you know what? Let's just get it out of the way right now. The three and a half hour runtime. I felt the three and a half hour runtime at about two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. I was like, uh, I think I've been here for about two and a half hours. And I'm like, well, there's another hour left. But here's the thing. It's so well crafted that it's like, well, there's another hour left. And I'm really curious what's about to happen in this last hour. It, these, it's so, it's just very, very well written. And of course it is because, you know, it's a Scorsese film, you know. I mean, he doesn't team up with bad writers, you know. So, obviously, it's going to be good. And you know what? It was good. This is an absolute master class of what we could call complex characters. Um, obviously, if you've seen the trailers, you understand that Leonardo DiCaprio is... It's like he's, he's aware of what's happening and, you know, everyone knows, you know, the, the audience knows what's going on relatively, right? And so now it's just a matter of, like, well, how are they going to deal with it or how are they going to figure this out per se? And so that's, that's where it just thrives. That's where the movie takes you by the throat and says, pay attention to me because you, you're trying to figure out how are these characters going to get out of their mess, um... And yeah, uh, Leo is, he, he's phenomenal in this. There is a scene where it's, 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 it's just a long take of just Leo just speaking his mind, saying what he has to say, and you're just like, okay, yeah, he's that good, of course. Of course he is, right? Um, Robert De Niro, fantastic, per usual. Scorsese knows how to get, um, he knows how to get a performance out. And uh, yeah, I hope he, I, and I'm, I'm excited for him to continue doing so. Um, so yeah, this, it's just, it's, it's great. And you know what? Lily Gladstone is so, so good in this film. It's, it's, it's remarkable. And I'm, it's, ah, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> it's just really, really good. And it's almost refreshing to see because, you know, this is a three and a half hour long movie. And it's like, you know, not a lot of people, unless you're, you know, Christopher Nolan or, or, um, Martin Scorsese, or just one of the big names, you know, it's not going to be easy getting a three and a half hour movie out, and especially, especially one like this, but you got that star power, so obviously it's going to happen, so yeah, in the end, Killers of the Flower Moon is, it's really, really good, and the writing is so, so good, and the characters and the story, they keep you hooked, and it's just, like I said, it's a master class of complex characters, you know, and I, I feel like there's just so much, you know, I can't talk about it in a non-spoiler review. But regardless, I hope you go out to see Killers of the Flower Moon. Or if you don't go see that, you know, go see something else. Go see the Terror Swift movie. I don't know. what You can do whatever you want. Regardless, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.